Hello everybody and welcome to the go home edition of Impact Wrestling before this Sunday's Rebellion which is a very stacked card for this Sunday. I am looking forward to that show and looking forward to a review on it. Uh, we're going to do the go home show tonight since it's a lot of stacked card, final hype and anything that goes down Sunday. There was uh, I think a match or two added to the show. I think it's a total of six matches as, as, as I have as I have no right now, unless something gets added by Sunday night. I don't really know, but uh, to kick off the show and to go home, we kicked it off with Eli Drake, who had two sticks with him. Uh, Eddie Edwards stick Kenny, and he had a stick with a microphone in it on it he was talking through. And as he cut a promo, he said the old Eddie Edwards is dead, that this current Eddie Edwards that's right now is all flaccid and flappy. He's not the same Eddie Edwards, and that Eddie was the weak link of this entire team. Uh, Drake pretty much went on to say that, you know, I talk with a stick now and that Kenny was my stick now because Drake say he loses a friend, but he gains a friend because now he's got Kenny and Mikey, uh, Mikey, Mikey the microphone, I should say now, uh, some are saying, but um, Eddie Edwards had came out and attacked Eli Drake then as he was doing his promo. Um, he pretty much took the kick and start um, the Kendo stick and start hitting him with it all the way to the back as Eli Drake was pretty much running away from him as, you know, um, Eddie Edwards was chasing him. So they kind of went that to commercial, which was actually a good part of the show in the beginning. It's just this segment is meaningless now due to Eli Drake leaving the company. And I'm saying it right now. I think they were going to have a match at Rebellion, to be honest, Eddie Edwards versus Eli Drake, but with Eli Drake leaving the company, I don't know what happens now at this point. I don't know if they make up something for Sunday. Uh, Eli Drake is not in this company anymore, and Eddie Edwards is still here. I don't know what they do with him, but yeah, he actually was right about what he said about um, Eddie Edwards, though, that the old, you know, Wolves Eddie Edwards is dead. This crazy Eddie Edwards, I guess, is still here, and I guess Edwards got his Kendo stick back after this, but... Uh, Eli Drake was right with what he said. It's just now there's not really going to I can't really say nothing will ha happen after this because he's gone. He left the company. So what do you want me to say about Eli Drake? It was a good promo out there, but this is now meaningless. We all know he's gone, so it's not really going to help out. Uh, there were multiple video packages, which are really good, by the way, from the Gale versus Tessa um, feud that's been going on. I'll speak more about that in the end until, you know, I go over the pay-per-view at the end of this entire thing. But, um, pretty much next after that, uh, Ace Austin came out to go against Aiden Prince. I, this was actually a good match, I should say, too, with, um, Prince and, um, Ace Austin. Uh, really good, I should say. Um, pretty much Austin did win with the fold, so it was, um, pretty good. Um, he pretty much, because I know he took a card and got out of submission, kind of sliced, uh, Peter... No, sorry, I thought I say Peter. Aiden Prince's fingers. Um, Austin pretty much... Yeah, Ace Austin pretty much started beating him up after that, stomping on him until uh, Petey Williams came out and stopped it. He was going to go for a, com a Canadian Destroyer on him, but Ace Austin got out of there as he was going to hit the Canadian Destroyer. Good match, so I guess it's going to be a few now between Austin and... Um, Williams now from this point unless we just get a match from out of nowhere this Sunday at the pay-per-view I could honestly see that happening since he came out for the save so don't be surprised if you see a rebellion on Sunday night um PD Williams versus Ace Austin but it should be good though they did went to Jordan Grace which she was in a gym bench pressing until Taya came to the gym trying to choke her with the barbell Grace got out of there and attacked her. Ty kept trying to choke her against the barbell then, but Grace pretty much held Ty up by her neck. Ty is able to break out and take like a, it was like a 20, 30 pound thing. It was a dumbbell, hit her in the stomach with it, and um, pretty much picked up one of the weights from the barbell. I, think was, I don't know how many pounds was it, but put it there. Super DDT'd her on there and said that where La Guerra Loca is going to be all over you. You want to be Knockouts Champion? Then prove it. So, um, pretty much, um, it's a good segment. I will say that, um, given what's going to happen. Mm. Yeah, good segment before a good segment before this Sunday though. Um, 
with Ty again, the upper hand over there. So I, I am looking forward to this match, but um, it was a good segment though. Uh, they then went to an RVD video package, which I don't know who he's wrestling this Sunday, but he said he looked forward to facing a lot of people in Impact. He hasn't been in Impact for years, but he, you know, he talked about guys that you know were that idolized him growing up, using his moves, and he went from people like the Mac, Johnny Impact, Brian Cage, several people who he wants to face in Impact right now. So I don't, I don't know what Van, I heard Van Dam was supposed to wrestle on Sunday. I don't know how true that is in that, but. Last time I, I uh, remember, he was supposed to. Uh, he, I'm sure he'll show up at the thing because he's supposed to show up at the next tapings after that in Philadelphia. But uh, I don't know. Is, is Van Dam wrestling Sunday? I'm not really sure. Uh, the Rascals were in the back walking around um, pretty much in separate ways with this music playing until they ended up all together. Say it says, meet here, meet here, which they all got, didn't know what it meant. And then they start pulling that stuff out of their hats from Pepto Bismol to a card. Or they said they got it from Ace Austin. Next thing you know, Moose comes in. He's got a suit on and uh, looks at the rascals and everything. He's like, I was glad his glasses are good, which he took from one of the rascals, by the way. And um, the rascals thought they said, uh, Why are we here? And he said, Oh, you brought LaFonda, huh? And Moose said, uh, No. Next thing you know, the North come over, Ethan Page, and then. Josh Alexander, which all three of them beat the living hell out of the rascals in and out of that, saying, say hello to my new Canadian friends. You guys think you're going to, you know, embarrass me on national TV? That's not going to happen. But um, I guess that's going to, which I'll get to that, it is going to set up a match now this Sunday, which they, you know, announced later in the night with Moose in the North versus the Rascals. So expect that to happen. Uh, they played a video package with Brian Cage and Johnny Impact. As they were talking about their title match this Sunday. Uh, you know, Giants say he wants to be like a lot of champions. But this is new now, he says. As Cage pretty much, you know, he wants. I thought they were my friends, him and Taya. But looks like he was wrong. Uh, Johnny pretty much says he's fighting a war. And to win and defend the championship. He has to do what he does to keep his title. Um, like, so I could go over the whole segment. But it was a really good segment, though. Pretty much playing everything from the Johnny Bravo referee getting involved to um a lot of it even having the tail of the tape thing to it too so it was a good video package pretty much getting some interviews from both of them for their match this sunday at rebellion um of course them still going over matches they had scarlet bordeaux which i guess she's supposed to have a live smoke show on sunday uh the undead maid of honor went against rosemary um I don't know who these undead made of honors, to be honest, at this point. But, Sue, not Sue Young, but I guess Sue Young was by ringside. Rosemary won, beating them, hitting them with one of the miss, by the way. After the one of the undead, undead, undead made of honors tried to get the miss. But, Rosemary spit green miss, won with a spear, and then took one of the, um, I guess, the undead maids and put her on a dog leash as Sue Young was being held back by the others as she was kind of pissed at it. So I'm still trying to see where this feud is going and what the end game is this. But it wasn't that bad, I should say. Maybe more happens this Sunday. I'm not really sure what to think about this undead realm thing at this point. But I, I wonder what the end game is this um, at this point. Uh, no Avengers pun intended. Uh, but they went to Rich Swan then who was going to the OV compound. Uh, the Chris brothers were there. As you know, he was looking, and they said, Welcome home. As Rich said, This isn't my home. He was looking for Sammy. He had knocked on the door, but he wouldn't open up. He started yelling at the door then, and pretty much says, Come on, Sammy, be a man. And then as he sat down, talking about this entire feud, and says, You know, me and you went to Germany when your mom died, as he said, and I've always watched out for you also. And he says, If you can hear this, man, I want to, I hope you can hear my words, because if you can't be the man right now, and I guess I'm going to have to beat a man on Sunday. Um, Swan left after that as Sammy had pretty much had a, a beer, pretty much drinking. So I, I, which he just kind of showing some type of remorse then after that. I don't know what's going to happen in this match this Sunday. But good segment there with both of these guys. You know, I guess showing something in this promo of where this story has been going to. So I'm surprised they didn't fight at the compound like they've done in other segments with Impact fighting at compounds. But they didn't do it this time. Uh, the Lucha Brothers, still wearing their samurai gear, were in the back as Johnny Impact and Johnny Bravo came up. And he says, amigos, hola. And 
they were gonna, and you know, they were sitting there saying, "I'm gonna lead you guys to victory because I'm the mayor of Slamtown." Phoenix pretty much says, "Listen, we are the best tag team on the planet, the Lucha Brothers. We are not intimidated, okay?" Pentagon pretty much says, "Me a pinche, look, bitch, if you want to go from that thing or punta." Um, Pentagon pretty much said, uh, "Johnny's a puto. Do you understand? We are the Lucha Brothers. We do not need your help." But Johnny said, listen, I don't have word. I don't understand a word you're saying, but I like your intensity. Which he then had Johnny Bravo giving him some glasses and stuff with, you know, Johnny's, uh, Johnny Impact's glasses, which the Lucha Brothers pretty much looked confused after that. Killer Cross came out to go against the Mac. Um, good match, I will say that. Uh, I'm surprised this match wasn't this Sunday. Uh, pretty much Mac had hit a moonsault which pretty much cross hit him with a cross jacket then for the win really good match though with these both of these guys i could see a future match into this if this could happen i don't know if it'd be like i said i'm not sure it'd be the pay-per-view than that but this was a good match with the mac and uh kill a cross from here i did enjoy it uh especially the finish which like i say he pretty much dodged the moonsault and hit him into a cross jacket so will this continue i'm not really sure the deaners cody and jake deaner went against Halil Beefcake and Idris Abrant. Listen, this I know who Cody Deaner is. I knew him damn near 10 years ago in TNA, okay? That was a long time ago. I'm surprised he's still wrestling. Jake Deaner, I don't know about him. I've never really seen him. I just know he's a big dude and the, the, the guy was pretty good out there. I don't know where this team goes. I don't know what's going to happen. I say give this time, but like I said before, I did not know Cody Dean was still wrestling. But I, you know, he must have been wrestling the fall. I know, but it's like the first time I've seen this guy in years, which he still looks the same. But we'll see where this team is gonna go. Uh, before the main event, Johnny Impact and Taya came out with Johnny Bravo as they talk about the special guest referee this Sunday, and you know, it, it, which is Lance Storm. Which he agreed, you know, he's the most honest person you could pick. He talked about Lance Storm training him back in OVW. As Taya said that she was also trained by Lance Storm back then. Um, which is true. Uh, Don Cass was really funny. And Mikey said, oh God, what is this? As uh, Ty Brimmer said that Storm, you know, is featured as a guest star at their wedding. And he wanted to name their dog Stormy, as Johnny said. Lance Storm came out, which I will say, Lance Storm does look the same. I haven't seen Lance Storm in a while. You know, I've heard him on podcasts and whatever, but um, he still looks the same to me. I, the only thing that looks different is he just has a different haircut. That's all I can really say. Storm doesn't. Lance Storm doesn't look that different. I haven't really seen him in years, though, to be honest. Um, but uh, before he came out there, though. Uh, Johnny pretty much told, uh, you know, Storm that, you know, you taught me about respect, everything. And, uh, he said, you know, you should take into account that Cage is a meathead and he could try to break my neck. So are you going to allow him to do the, the drill claw? Because he said his integrity, you know, more important than friendship. Because, you know, him and, well, pretty much Johnny and Ty are pretty much kissing Lance Storm's ass out there. But Lance Storm said, let me be serious for a minute, okay, to pop the crowd. Because my integrity is not for sale. And my job as a rebellion is to give the crowd a champion they can respect. And that a person they can look down and not respect. Ty pretty much slapped Storm after that. Johnny was about to get him. Hit him with a super kick. But Lance Storm dodged and hit him with his own super kick. Which the crowd popped for that. So. Um. The Bruins in the segment from there, but a pretty good segment, I will say that. I don't know what's going to happen with Lance Storm as the referee, but I can tell you somebody may be getting screwed this Sunday. But into the main event, which was actually great, a uh, very great main event, Johnny Impact and Lucha Brothers versus Brian Cage and LAX. This match was insanity out here. I cannot name every, every spot where damn near every guy hitting moonsaults out the ring to a ladder getting involved to Pentagon hitting Brian Cage in the head with a chair. Um, several things that were insane. Even the ref bump at one point, Taya beating up the referee. Um, even Conan looking confused since they even noticed, they even said that Conan and Taya were in the same group in AAA at one point. Um, now this is one thing I will say about this tag match that is almost giving something away this Sunday. Because Johnny was able to try to, he tried to get the, um, the Moonlight Drive on him, but Cage hit the Weapon X on him for the win. 
which is almost telling me he's going to lose this Sunday just because he got the win on the go-home show and some screwy finish may happen. And I feel like Lance Storm may screw him just to say about this match. I do believe this is going to be a great main event, though, between Johnny Impact and Brian Cage. They have built this match up very, very well looking into Rebellion, which, you know, Johnny being a big heel and Cage looking like a face. But just giving what I saw from here, I think um, Impact may retain. Just because Cage got the win. Like I said, Storm could screw him. I don't know, but we'll see. I am looking forward to this match. But as Rebellion, just talking the main event from there. From who else we got? The Rascals versus Moose and, and the North, which was a last minute match at the end, but I'm still looking forward to it. Taya versus Jordan Gage. They built that up very well, and I am looking forward to that title match. Rich Swan versus Sammy Callahan. Which is, I heard now, it's supposed to be OVE rules. I don't know what that means for the Exhibition Championships. But I expect it to be a very bloody and hardcore match. Gail Kim versus Tess Blanchard. Um, one of the best built matches on this uh, show. They have spent months, months, okay? Months in building for this match at a pay-per-view. Gail Kim coming back out of retirement. Still has it going against Tessa Blanchard. I believe these two are going to put on a fantastic match at the pay-per-view on Sunday. So I'm looking forward to that. And the Lucha Brothers versus uh, Pentagon. What did I say? The Lucha Brothers versus LAX. And a full Metal Mayhem match for the Tag Team Championship. So I am looking forward to that. And this will be a, I guess a live smoke show by Scarlett Bordeaux. But in total, we have about six matches going into this Rebellion pay-per-view. I am looking forward to it tomorrow. Uh, like I said, I've been seeing a lot of, especially a lot of pay-per-views this weekend. I know that NWA one had happened also. I actually got a chance to see that, by the way. Um, all I'll say is this. It was a good show. The best thing you will really see on there is Marty versus... Um, Magnus for the title. I am surprised they had Mac drop that um, North American Championship if you have not seen that pay-per-view. But, um, like I said, it's a lot of pay-per-views going down, but I am looking forward to Rebellion stack card. I just want to talk about the go-home show as we lead into Sunday. But I'm out of here. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.